unbeknownst to many residents of Metro Manila. There is a hidden paradise in the heart of the city which is frequented by migrating birds and home to endemic birds. It lies between two cities with an area of hectares in the center of Manila Bay. A potential bird watching ecotourism and the Department of Tourism has already included it in their national tourism development plan. Such surroundings or coastal lagoon are visited by people who know how to go there to entertain oneself by watching the birds there or bird watching. The area serves as a home and sanctuary for some birds such as the Philippine duck or mallard which was estimated at only 10,000 in 2002 and Chinese aigrette whose current number is now estimated at about 4,000. The area benefits greatly from being home to birds, shrimps, crabs, and fish. The standing mangroves here or mangroves prevents flooding, which also provide a beautiful and pleasant view to the coastal ecosystem. However, such a landscape is in danger of disappearing and being damaged due to the 635 reclamation project of the Philippine Reclamation Authority. The reclamation is said to be the cause of the 90% loss of birds population. Destruction of marine resources in Manila Bay. The fish caught here dropped by an average of 15 kilos to just 1 to 3 kilos per day. At times, the tens of thousands of birds living in the sanctuary have bad consequences. It allegedly affects planes passing through Ninoy Aquino International Airport and has the potential to cause bird strikes. Hectares of marshes, lagoons, salt beds, and wetlands increase the number of migratory birds during the winter. During the winter, 52 species of birds from the Arctic region, Alaska, Siberia, New Zealand, Australia, and Indonesia visit the area. These include the gray heron, osprey, Kentish plover, pied avocet, black-crowned night heron, Siberian ruby throat, blue-naped parrot, tuft duck, and black-winged stilt. According to the Wild Bird Club of the Philippines, about 28,000 birds were seen in the area since 1970s. But, at present, only 5,000 birds can be seen in the area due to the projects being built around it, particularly the reclamation project. Sadly, it seems deaf to those in charge to save such a place. The government's interest in immediate development was not weighed properly which led to its gradual deterioration. It is also puzzling why the person in charge does not say or inform the public of such a pleasant scene in the center of Metro Manila, which is in danger of disappearing even though most are not yet fully aware of its beauty. But now, it is being given the attention and appreciation of those concerned because the one who has paradise in the heart of the city can be proud of its inherent beauty.